Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, Collective, let's take a look at your person's current feelings for you. Here we go. Spirit Angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for the Collective, whoever it is that the Collective is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. What are this person's current feelings, please, for the Collective? All right, here we go. Such a long shuffle. Long shuffle. All right. First card we have here is the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Huh. So this card actually says everything is fine at the bottom of the card. Just something I'm looking at right now. So I feel like this person is missing you. I feel like they're trying to accept an ending between the two of you or a separation between the two of you. They're trying to accept it. Um, they're trying to make peace with it. But they are very hurt and they are very sad and they are very much missing you. Hmm. This could be your energy as well, Collective. All right. Tell me more, Spirit. What are this person's current feelings for the collective? Hmm. We have the Three of Pentacles. Um, I'm getting the message that this person's using work as a distraction. Um, if it's not work, it could be, you know, um, their studies, school, um, or just some sort of project that they are... Um, involved in. Hmm. Tell me more, Spray. What are this person's current feelings for the collective? We have the two of wands showing up here as well. Okay, why is this energy so gloomy? I feel like the energy is very gloomy and and rainy. And I feel like I can hear thunderstorms. Um, connecting to this energy. Hmm. Rainy, gloomy, downcast. At the bottom of the deck, we have, well, what do you know, the moon. Yeah, that kind of goes with what I was just talking about right now. Yeah, it's like emotional. It's, 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 it's a heavy emotional energy um, that's connected to this person. Sad, very sad, very depressed. I'm getting like a, a dark night of the soul. They're going through a dark night of the soul. Uh, bottom of the deck as well. Well, there we go again. Four of Cups. Yeah, Four of Cups is also that type of energy of someone who's sad, you know, gloomy, downcast. You can see it in the card here. Emotional. And we also have here the Four of Pentacles. Hierophant is showing up here. I feel like this person's like really tempted, you know, they're very, very tempted to reach out to you, um, to, to come looking for you or to go looking for you, um, to take action in your direction. I feel like they're very, very tempted, but they're, they're holding themselves back. They're kind of in this energy of, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't embarrass yourself like that. Don't embarrass yourself like that. 
Let it go. Leave it alone. Don't go there. Just just accept that it's over. Just accept that it's over. Move on with your life. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. What are we doing here? So we have the Hierophant. We also have the Ace of Cups to the Ace of Wands. And the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm. Okay, so for some of you, this person is viewing you as someone who's in a new relationship. I see. I'm definitely getting that. That might not be true, you know? Yeah, that might not be true. You might not be um, in any relationship right now, but I feel like this person is looking at you as someone who is in a new relationship. Um, yeah. Someone who is happy, happy in a new relationship or someone who is excited about a new relationship. Um, and they feel jealous. I definitely feel jealous. Hmm. Um, and they're viewing you as someone who, you know, you're, you're doing what's right for you. Yeah, you're doing what's right for you. You're, um, you're putting yourself first. Um, you're honoring your values. Um, And basically, you're detaching from them. You're separating yourself from them, and you're de detaching from them. And again, they view you as someone who is like in a new, like they view you as someone who's focused on something new. You're focusing all your your energy on something new, or someone new. And they're upset about it. They're very upset about it. They're very hurt about it. I also feel like this person's ego is bruised, is what I'm noticing. Yeah, their ego is very bruised. Because they're viewing you in this way as someone who doesn't seem to care about them, you know? That's how they, again, I'm not saying that's true. I'm saying that's how they view you. They, they view you as someone who doesn't seem to care about them, someone who doesn't seem to be thinking about them. Someone who's not looking for them. You're not looking for them. You're not trying to get their attention. You're not calling them. You're not texting them. You're not doing anything. Um, you're just, from their point of view, you seem to be very happy and living your best life. Um, embracing the new and leaving them behind in the dust. So again, it hurts their ego and um, it causes them uh, feelings of jealousy and, and heartbreak. But I feel like this person is, um, I feel like this person is very like egotistic is what I'm noticing about them. Like, they would never admit that to you. Like, it, it feels like this is the type of person who would never, who would never confess their true feelings, who would never confess um, how they're being affected, how they really are being affected, or how they're being, um, how they feel hurt, or how much they actually care about you, how much they need you, how much they miss you, how much they're struggling um, to, to be without you. I feel like this person would never admit that or would never confess that to you or anyone. So I'm getting like a prideful energy from them, 
also a stubborn energy from them and definitely an egotistic energy uh, connected to them. Uh, there's an expression, actually. I think the expression is like uh, pr pride before fall. I think that's the expression, pride, pride before fall. Uh, if you know what that means. Hmm. Okay, um, where am I going? <clears throat> I kind of want to look at the truth. I want to see the. I want to see what the truth is about you. I want to. I'm just curious if that's if that's accurate or not. Let me clarify their energy a little bit more, and, and then we'll move on. Um, where did I get this extra card from? This, this one, okay. All right, here we go. Let's clarify the moon to the Four of Cups to the Four of Pentacles. All right, Spirit, what can you tell me about this person's feelings here with the moon, Four of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles? All right, so we do have the Death card. We also have the Queen of Swords. We also have the Page of Cups. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, and here we go again with the Five of Swords, as well as the Knight of Wands, and also the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Mm. All right, so it kind of looks like this person tried to get you to give them a second chance or another chance. I feel like this person tried to um, sweet talk you and love bomb you. Um, again, hoping that you would give them another chance, hoping that you would um, allow them back into your life. Because with the death card, this is telling me that there was a a break, a split, or a separation between the two of you, but it kind of looks like you you turned them down here with the Queen of Swords, male or female. You turned down you turned them down in their attempt to reconcile with you and to um, make things right with you and have another chance with you. Um, so they're feeling very very rejected by you, and again, this is why they. Um, they feel um, uh, like their ego has been shattered here. This person thought for sure that you were going to take them back. They were a little bit too confident, you know. They were overly confident that you were going to um, accept their apology or you know accept their offer to to make things right with you and to have a new beginning with you um, um they thought you were going to exp um, accept their promises um and it just kind of looks like they received a big shock and surprise because things didn't go according to plan or things didn't go the way they thought they were they thought would happen between the two of you. It kind of looks like you you very bluntly and and yeah, you very bluntly turned them down and sent them sent sent them back sent them back from where they came from. And I feel like this person's a little bit in this energy of how dare they? How dare the collective turn me down? How dare the collective reject me? Who does the collective think they are? You know, so there, there is a little bit of that in their energy is what I'm picking up on here. How dare they? How dare they reject me out of all people? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Uh, Spirit, what can you tell me about this energy over here with the Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands in this person's feelings for the collective? All right, so we have the Three of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles, we also have the Ten of Swords. Oh, I see, okay. King of Wands to the Ace of Swords to the Temperance card, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So this is, this is also why they have such, such a bruised ego, um, because it kind of looks like the fact that this person reached out to you to begin with is a big deal for them. Like, it takes a lot for them to even have reached out to you or attempted to, to make things right with you and to, you know, make a reconciliation happen between the two of you. Like, that's a big deal. That's a big step for them. They would never do that with anybody else, you know? You are kind of like an exception that they made. Because this person has a lot of ego and pride, um, they're not the type of person to, to try to make things right with anyone. They're not the type of person to, to apologize or to, or to like try to reconcile with someone who, who they already separated from. It's like they're not the type of person to beg. And this person feels like from their perspective, from their perspective, they feel like they kind of put them put themselves in a position of begging. Because they do feel a really intense and strong connection with you that is more powerful than any other connection that they've had. So from their point of view, they feel like they pretty much um, begged you. And, you know, begged you to, to give them another, another chance or to, uh, to, to take them back. Um, so the fact that you reject them, rejected them is a, is a big, uh, blow to the chest. Because again, they're, they're not even the type of person to, to come back to anyone to begin with. They have too much ego and pride to, to apologize or to try to make things right with anyone. So, you know, it's just, uh, you know, from, from their perspective, it's, it's a big blow to the chest. They, uh, the, you know, they, the, what they did with you is, is more than they've ever done with anybody else. Yeah. So that that's how they feel, okay? That's how they that's how they see it here. That's how they see this whole situation. Okay. Um what can you tell me about uh the collective's current feelings for this individual spirit that's showing up in the reading? How is the collective currently feeling about this person? All right, collective. So looking at your current feelings, first card we have here. Oh, well, look who's here. The Empress. Well, well, well. <laughs> what do you know? Male or female, doesn't matter. The gender doesn't have to be a woman. You could be a man. Um, this is just an energy. The energy of the Empress is the energy of someone who knows their worth and knows their value and doesn't um, compromise on their values doesn't compromise their values or their standards for anyone uh, empress is someone who has high standards because um, the empress is someone who brings a lot to the table and the empress is someone who can do it all 
Um, the empress is someone who is very nurturing and loving and caring, um, but, but also the empress is a very good provider, someone who's very hardworking and responsible and mature. So basically the total package. Okay. Hmm. Tell me more, Spirit, what are the collective's current feelings for this individual that's showing up in the reading here? Oh, okay. Four of Swords is showing up here in your feelings. And we also have the Hermit card showing up for you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles to the King of Swords. Knight of Swords. Ooh, Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Devil with the Five of Wands. And the Nine of Wands, jeez. This person is a mess. Hmm. Okay, let me just look at your feelings a little bit deeper here. Okay. It kind of looks like this person has already caused you a lot of stress in the past with the Nine of Swords. They have caused you stress in the past. So you are very, very guarded here towards this person. And with the King of Swords, I feel like you're in this energy of um, not allowing yourself to become too emotional about this person. You're, you're thinking... Um, rationally instead of thinking with your feelings you're thinking logically and rationally um, you're looking at the situation here between the two of you through a logical and rational lens it's like you're looking at the facts It's interesting, though, because you do have emotions here with the Hermit card. Um, I do feel like you are kind of suppressing your emotions um, because you feel like you need to be smart about this. You feel like you need to have a good head on your shoulder and, and look at the situation objectively instead of emotionally. Um, so that you don't get lost, get lost in the sauce. So that you don't become vulnerable um, to this person who you feel is not 100% trustworthy. All right, but like, um, what do you want? What do you want? What is it? What does the collective want um, with this person spirit currently or from this person? What does the collective want with this person or from this person who's showing up in the reading here? All right, so we do have the death card. Uh, you want change? Why, why the death card? Sorry. We also have the high priestess. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You're very vulnerable to this person. This person is not looking at you accurately, is also what I'm noticing, which is kind of like a question that I had um, in my mind. Are they looking at you accurately? No, I, I think the answer to that is no. I don't see you having any new beginning with anyone. Um, you, look, you look pretty solitary to me, yeah. You, you, yeah, you're solitary. You're, you're, you're keeping to yourself. You're focusing on yourself. You're not really involved in any other relationship. Um, you're being quiet. Um, you're being very reserved. Um, again, just keeping to yourself. And I do feel like you are thinking about this person. 
yeah, you're thinking about this person and you definitely have feelings for this person. Um, so they're not looking at you accurately. But then again, I feel like you're, you're being very, um, like I said, you're being very quiet. So you're not really giving much away of, you know, what you're doing, what you're up to, how you're thinking and how you're feeling. You're not really giving much away here. You're not communicating with this person. So they don't, ha they don't have any idea. They're, they're just assuming that you're, um, in something else, in something new. They're assuming that you're in something new. What else can you tell me about what the collective wants with this person, spirit, or from this person? I feel like you're waiting for this person to change. I feel like you're waiting for this person to step up to the plate and, and come towards you correctly. Because I feel like you still want this person. I feel like you feel a deep... Oh, we do have the Hierophant and the High Priestess here. Yeah, you two have a very strong spiritual connection uh, with each other. Very, very strong spiritual connection. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you, you, feel a, you still feel a very strong, intense connection with this person. And, and I feel like you want this person, but... Um, you're not going to lose your integrity over this person. I feel like you're protecting your integrity and you're protecting your worth um, by not chasing them and also not settling for whatever weak apology they want to extend out to you or um, this weak attempt to reconcile with you. Because I feel like that's how you're looking at it. You're, you're looking at it as that was a very weak attempt on their, on their part. Not worthy of your approval. Yeah, not worthy of your approval. Let me get one more card for the, what the collective wants here. Oh, yep, Queen of Cups. Geesh, yeah, you definitely have strong feelings for this person. But, you know, this is you putting yourself first. This is you, um, you know, being smart. And um, standing your ground, basically. Yeah. I feel like you want a relationship with this person. You want something serious with them. You know, you want a serious relationship with them. Um, but you're not going to beg and you're not going to chase, it, basically. Um, and, you're not going to, and you're not going to accept um, uh, migaja in Spanish, breadcrumbs. You're not going to accept breadcrumbs. Okay, so what's happening here? What's going to happen? Here we go. Let's see the outcome. Spirit angels and guys, but actually, let me use another deck that might tell me the outcome a little bit more clear. I feel like this deck is really good at telling outcomes for some reason. Yeah, let's use this deck. All right, Spirit, tell me about the outcome here between the collective and this individual here moving forward. How are things going to play out between the collective and this person moving forward and in their relationship with each other? Let's get one more shuffle. Let's see. All right. First card we have here in the outcome, the King of Wands is showing up here. Okay. Also, the Eight of Wands is showing up with the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Mm, let's keep going. Tell me more. We also have here the Page of Wands with the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, Lord. What is the deal with this person? So this person is going to get over. They're going to get over this whole energy of feeling like their um their their um their ego is bruised by you feeling hurt yeah feeling hurt by you because you bruised their ego so they're going to get over it and they're going to come chasing after you because this person loves a challenge You know, I feel like this person is not used to being rejected, is what I'm noticing. I'm also getting player vibes from this person strongly. Yeah, I'm getting strong player vibes from this person. I'm, but I'm also getting the energy of someone who's not used to, to being rejected by anyone. So they're going to be in this um, wounded soldier energy for a little while. Um, playing the victim. Uh, complaining about how you bruise their ego and after that I do see this person feeling energized and coming at you with full force hmm. tell me more about the outcome here let's get three more cards for um, how are things going to play out between the collective and this person moving forward. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. Again, double confirmation. This person's definitely going to be chasing you. Um, it's funny because this person said that they weren't going to chase you. And now they're changing. Now they're switching things up here. Because I did see in their energy that they were in this, in this energy of, all right, the collective rejected me. The collective turned me down. How dare they? Who do they think they are? Um, I'm not going back there anymore. You know, I'm not going to look like a fool again. I'm not going to get embarrassed again. So I'm done. You know, I'm done with that. I'm not going to go back to the collective. I'm just going to accept that it's over and move on with my life. And, um, yeah, that's that. So it kind of looks like this person's now changing their mind or they're, or sorry about that noise. I was a car or they're going to be changing their mind, um, because I do see them going back on their word and actually chasing you in the, in the way that they said, in the way that they said they would never do again. Hmm. all right two more cards for the outcome all right we have the king of swords Ooh, this person's pissed this person's pissed now now they're in the stage of i'm pissed well they were kind of pissed already though they were kind of angry already but now they're even more angry and well, what do you know? The Queen of Wands is showing up here. So now we have the King and the Queen of Wands. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles with the Sun, and we have the Hero Font as well. Okay. For some of you, um, since we have the King and the Queen of Wands showing up here, um, for some of you, you've already, you have had an on and off relationship with this person because the King and the Queen of Wands are known for having an on and off relationship with each other. If that's the case, then I don't feel like it's anything is going to change. I mean, what are this person's long-term intentions with the collective spirit? Let me just verify. What are, oh, two of swords are showing up here. I just don't see anything changing here. What are this person's long-term intentions with the collective? The star, 
the page of cups king of cups ten of swords ace of swords you're not get, you're not going to get anything from this person that you haven't already gotten from them yeah this person is they are who they are basically that's what i'm getting from them they are who they are their long term intentions are the same as always you know i feel like you're going to be experiencing an on and off relationship with this person um, indefinitely um, i don't see anything ever changing here between you and them it feels like that's that's the that's the fate of this relationship it's it's fated to be an on and off relationship um of course if you allow it you know so the decision is up to you because this person is definitely going to come towards you um again with full force um wanting to make up with you um reconcile with you get back together with you um there's something about this person being very strategic um i'm seeing a lot of like uh seduction energy this person is going to definitely do their best to seduce you or do everything that they can to seduce you and to tempt you into taking them back and of course uh the decision is up to you so i'm not i'm not seeing what you're going to do some of you are going to um, accept and some of you are not going to accept it does look like there is a very strong soulmate and karmic connection between you and this person um, I'm definitely seeing twin flame energy also. The king and the queen of wands many times are known to be like a twin flame connection. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Yeah. Oh, look who's here again here. Queen of wands at the bottom of the deck with the sun... <laughs> With the Sun card and the Knight of Pentacles. Oh boy. All right. So some of you are definitely going to like, um, you know, repeat a cycle. Let's say some of you are definitely going to repeat a cycle with this person. Um, because I do see them coming towards you with this Knight of Pentacles energy, which is basically the energy of, you know, um, coming towards you correctly. Or at least that's how they're going to present themselves because I feel like I feel like there's a repetitive cycle here between you and this person. Um, yeah, but I do see them coming towards you um, being very serious about you and being very serious about repairing their relationship with you. Okay. All right. Not like the first time where they were where they were kind of you know, giving you a, a weak attempt, a weak apology and a weak attempt to reconcile with you. Um, this time, the next time, they're going to be a lot more serious um, about it. All right, so that's what I have for you, Collective. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.